Hey guys, it's Falcon. This is Road to Average Editor Episode 3. In this tutorial, I'll be focusing on the iPod effect, which I did in my first OCE for Flip's, Flip at Query. So let's get right into the tutorial. This is what the iPod effect looks like for those of you who didn't see the OCE. Shout out to all my boss boys, Queen Hey guys, okay, so this is what we're going to do in the tutorial, um, so I'll put a file in the description of what you guys need. It will include uh, then I the iPod effect. Okay, so I'll show all of these pictures here. So you want to find where it's white, so you want to hold shift and click on the white one. And then you want to go to the very last one, the last white frame, and you want to shift click that. And then, uh, okay, wait, one second. Okay, so what you do is actually, first you have to go to edit, or wait, options, oh, sorry. Options, preferences. You want to go to editing tab, change the new still image length seconds to 0.023 hit OK. Now what you want to do is you want to make a new layer or a new video track. And you want to open up like what I did before is you want to open those clips. So shift click on the first with the white one. Go to the last white one, shift click and open. What that does is it makes the picture lengths not that small. Because if you didn't do that then it would be um like uh, eleven minutes long or something like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to find a spot where um, the where his hand like where there's nothing on the screen. So I will pick here. So keyframe it. Now what you do is you go to the selection tool. You want to select all these and hit, and then go back to the normal edit and Control G. Now you can move these all at once. And you want to move it here. And now you want to save the snapshot file. Oh, wait. You want to move these out of the way for a second. You want to save the snapshot file with it just a blank screen or to save this randomly somewhere. Now what you do is you split. Just wait. Sony Vegas is being weird right now. Um, okay, so split it and then you want to drag it out to about how long you want it. But it would probably be at least like f four seconds. So I'm dragging it there. Now you want to go back to the selection tool, select those again, control G. On the Mac, I think it's command G. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to keep on previewing through the frames and you want to come to the frame where right before the hand starts going back and away from the face from your face. Okay, like right there. So right here. Now what you do is go back to the selection tool and you select the ones right up into there. And then hit control G again, normal edit tool, control G. And we'll Okay. Selection tool, go back to normal edit, wait for it to, it didn't select all of them, okay, select, normal edit tool, control G, why is Sony Vegas being really retarded right now? This was working. Control G. Okay, there you go. I just didn't select it. Okay. Now you want to take that image that you saved earlier, and you want to put it uh, in the layer there, and you want to drag it to the length of that. Now what you want to do is you want to take this frame, well that you kept, and you want to drag it to the very end over there. So. 
Now, it, it blends in better if you have a song, but I'm not going to play a song, so what you do want to do now is hit shift B. Oh, when you render over it, what that does is it previews it without any lag. So you can see the iPod comes in nicely there. And then starts to go away. Okay, now if we preview it. Okay, now what you do is you can also, uh, what makes it nicer is if you have a song, like I said. But then you also take the audio and you want to put fade uh, offset. Also, it, if you turn the game volume down, that will blend in more with the song as well. So now it can fade in. And when you find this there, also what you can do is if you want to add a picture there, what you have to do is you have to mask out the iPod. So you want to go to mask, zoom in, and then you want, I'm just going to rush this really fast here. So then what that allows you to do is that allows you to put a picture in between. Like I, uh, in like what you guys saw is I put the YouTube picture in. That I just had that because I didn't know what else to put. In Flip's video I masked this out and I put a Facebook sign in because it says he blocked me on Facebook. So now you want to change the, from positive mode, you want to change that to negative. And then there. Now you just, what you have to do is you just gotta make a new layer here, I'll show you guys quickly. And right there you want to, and also you can put it in beats with the song, so you just need white and something. I'll just find something in my graphics folder. Just take this folder here. What you want to do is you want to resize it to fit the thing. I'll be right back. Okay, I, had, I just had to get something. So now what you want to do when you zoom out is you want to drag this to make it bigger. And you also want to look at the iPod here. Maintain aspect ratio. You want to turn that off. And then you can turn it. And now what you want to do is you just want to make it fit the iPod on the screen. So now you can make this adjust this size here. Okay, wait, I'm going to control. It's better if you adjust the size here first, and then you make it fix later on, like you change the size and everything. And what you can also do to make it better is you can crop it out. Anything you need, you just crop that out. And then you can aspect ratio to no. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to change the rotation. So you just go here, rotate it. Some pictures don't work, like what you want to do is you want to find um, a rectangular picture, but like this, it's not going to work, I don't think. Like I had this problem when I did the YouTube one, like that you saw in the tutorial. Okay, but if it doesn't work, what you can do is you can do this and shear it to this on one side. Now what you want to do is you want to go to mask for this, and you want to mask out like something like this. And then if that doesn't work, you just gotta play around with it. But that's practically the tutorial, so um, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.